Hello, hello, and welcome back. We're doing another canning recipe today. Um, I am doing mushroom stock. It is going to be absolutely delicious, and I'm actually doing it for a couple different things. I want some on my shelf in pints, but I also want it to go in my a canning recipe for cream of mushroom soup without the cream. And also, if there's any left over after all those things, I also just want to make some mushroom soup. And this stock will be absolutely amazing in it. So a couple different things I'm wanting to do with it, but I'm not making a huge batch. It really doesn't make sense, but that's that's my logic today. So I have a 10 quart crock pot. We're doing it in a crock pot today. Because I need my stove for other projects. So what I have down in here are two onions and a bulb of garlic. A whole bulb. All I did was take my knife and smash the garlic just so they can break down easier. And then here I have about three quarters of a pound of frozen mushrooms that I got at the market a couple months ago. And yes, they're still frozen. And I saved them for this purpose. So I have those and then I have three bags of these that I got on sale and they have um, maybe if I can show you <sighs> and I'm gonna be picking through this because I want the morels out of it for my soup but it has let's see porcini's shiitake morel lobster oyster and bolettes bolettes never heard of those either way they're in here and they're going in this <coughs> excuse me and if I feel like it needs a little more mushroom powder power I have more dehydrated mushrooms that I did myself a couple years ago that need to be used up so they'll be going most likely in this and then also in my um, soup recipe that I'm going to be canning up but I'm going to take these out and find all the morels because they are going in my soup but here's what they look like they're just dried uh, one thing to note that I will tell you I may take I may take a couple of these out oh they smell so good they smell amazing one thing to note though is with uh oh with dried mushrooms you want to make sure that when you are rehydrating them, say you're rehydrating them in a, um, a separate pot, don't use the last little bit of that stock because it'll be dirty. You don't know if whoever packaged this stuff cleaned the mushrooms properly and even if they did they still probably didn't get all of it there's the morels if you don't know what those are you hunt them around where I am people will be like we're going mushroom hunting this is what you're hunting you don't need a gun for it uh, <laughs> you gotta love those morels they are the absolute best but anyway they have grime and grittiness and if you use the last of your stock, that's what you're gonna have is grit in your um, in your soup, and you don't want that or dish or whatever you're making. So don't do it. So even in this aspect, I'm not going to use the last tiny bit of my stock. Not gonna do it get out the morels in this one. Oh, this is going to be so good. Like, so so good. I wish you could smell what I'm smelling. I'm going to use that. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to use it. It's probably that one that I didn't know what it was. Okay, no more morels. It's kind of disappointing. There was not a lot in there. Around where I am, to get dried morels, it's like $20 for one of these little packages that's one ounce. So one ounce 
$20 of dried morels. That is not a lot of morels. So, okay, so I'm going to keep it pretty basic on the seasonings because I want the mushrooms to shine. That is what I want to be the main event. But I am going to add a little bit of celery seed. And of course, I added the onion and garlic just because onion and garlic go amazing with mushrooms. I think onion and garlic go amazing with anything, but that's just me. Some salt. Make sure if you're going to can, you use non-iodized salt. We're going to do pepper. Healthy dose of that. And then I'm going to throw in some thyme. Thyme and mushrooms go great together, and I'm pretty sure every recipe that I use mushrooms and I also use thyme in, so that will work perfectly. And now we just need to add water and see where we're at on whether I feel like I need to add more mushrooms or not. Because I want it to be rich. I want it to be rich and concentrated. I don't want any weak stuff in here. No weak stuff. It's so pretty already. And you could use, if you wanted, you could use beef broth in this or chicken broth. And actually, depending on how the taste test goes after this goes for a few hours, I may add some better than bouillon beef or chicken to it. <coughs> Excuse me. Most likely beef just because I really like beef and mushrooms. So most likely it'll be beef. I'm so indecisive whether I want to add, I'll go ahead and add some. Add a little more mushrooms. These, oh, I hope you heard that seal. Those things flew up out of there. Um, maybe, 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 maybe. Okay, so here's last of our water I'm gonna fill it to the tippy 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 top and I am going to put this on high I don't know if I said that I'm gonna put it on high just because it's not it's still not gonna boil so it'll be fine now these are baby bellas baby bellas I need something to stir get everything down in the bath oh, this is gonna be so good now I kind of wish I had more but those ones I got them for $3.49 they're originally about seven bucks so that's why you haven't seen me use it on my channel because it's kind of ridiculous I usually make my mushroom soup it's usually Myers actually that has a sale on their mushrooms or their manager special and I'll get the oyster and shiitake and portobellos and porcinis and we have a little party and we make some mushroom soup but I have the morels this time so that's what I'm gonna use so this is it that's all we're doing to it I am going to let this go for well, it is 3.30. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is going to go until morning. So probably at least 6. And depending on what I have to do in the morning, which I don't know yet, it may go longer. It's not going to hurt it. We're not going to use the mushrooms. We're using the stock. So we want to get all the flavor out of them as possible. So the longer it goes, the better it's going to be. All right, guys, so I'm going to try to get this video out before coughing my head off. Uh, <laughs> I had a mishap and completely forgot I was canning this particular session, so I didn't bring my camera out whenever I was filling the jars. I'm just going to tell you real quick how it worked out. First off, I ended up getting 10 pints and one quart. Now, one quart and one pint are just in the fridge waiting for my cream and mushroom soup 
and then I went ahead and did a canner load of nine pints. I could have done the other three technically, but I didn't want to only have three on the top rack. So I just did this, and that is fine. It is a very concentrated mushroom stock. So you know how I did all those mushrooms, and I filled it to the tippy tippy top of that um, uh, slow cooker. It went for almost 36 hours. Almost. Not quite. And after the first, I want to say eight hours, I went ahead and turned it on low and I just left it alone. And so it reduced by about this much, which was perfectly fine. That's what I wanted. And it now is just so, mm, it has a real mushroom pack and it is marvelous. Uh, so all I did after it was to the quality that I wanted, I put a strainer over a pot. I strained the entire contents out and got our liquid and of course those mushrooms they've done their job they've released all of their uh, nutrients into the stock so I don't need any more uh oh and then uh, an inch of headspace and I did them for 20 minutes because that is how much you do stock and I did not use the last little bit it was maybe a half a cup that was in the bottom of the pot and you could see the sediment at the bottom of the pot I just didn't use that last half a cup and now everything's fine so I'm really excited to start using this I'll definitely bring you along for recipes it does have to be pressure canned has to be pressure canned and again, I did it for 20 minutes at 10 pounds of pressure for my altitude, inch of headspace. Uh, and yeah, I'm sorry that I didn't record that part of the video, but I still wanted to show you the end result because it's just, it's almost black. It's so rich. It's wonderful. All right, guys, I will see you guys for my next video. Thanks for watching.